Welcome everyone to another one question, two analysts, three minutes. I'm Tom Loy with 24 seven sports alongside our show straight insider, Kevin Sinclair. Kevin, let's dive into some class of 2021 recruiting. Who are a few candidates to be the next Notre Dame commit? Yeah, you know, um, sort of the hottest story at uh, Irish Illustrated, uh, at least this week, has been sort of Mitchell Evans, um, really interesting recruit. One of the more interesting recruits, really, that, um, you know, I've covered and come across at Irish Illustrated, a six foot seven, 240-pound high school quarterback, um, you know, who started playing some tight end due to some injury concerns. And now he's, uh, you know, he's less than 100 spots outside of the four-star category at tight end. Um, the kid who has a Harvard offer, uh, his dad went and played football at an, at an Ivy League school. His mom played volleyball at, at Akron. His sister's playing volleyball at Georgia. So really a lot of that, at the, some real athletic stock there and a really interesting kid, really. Um, and, and one that has a lot of interest in Notre Dame. Um, keeping an eye on Ohio State, his in-state program, we're also interested. So that's one there. And then, of course, uh, Rocco Spindler. And that's not going to be an easy one. Um, down the stretch, really going to have to fend off this in-state program. Um, but, you know, if, if I'm coming up with uh, two names that I think could be the next commits at Notre Dame, those would be the two I'd choose. And, and how about you, uh, Tom? Um, it's hard to argue against that. I, I, want, I want the Irish Illustrated fans to know how strongly we feel about Notre Dame's chances with uh, tight end Mitchell Evans, who potentially could grow into an offensive tackle. It'll be very intriguing um, what school he lands at decides to do with him. But I like Notre Dame. I think he's going to be on campus very soon. I know he's kicked around the idea of this weekend, um, the 11th, as, as well as next weekend. I think they're trying to kind of tie that date down and get on campus, check it out on their own. It is a dead period, so they won't be meeting with the staff. But um, I think Notre Dame stands a great chance there. My 24-7 sports crystal ball is on the Fighting Irish. Michigan State, Florida State are kind of involved there. But I know uh, both insiders from those two schools uh, believe he's probably going to end up at Notre Dame as well. Rocco Spindler should decide in August. At least that's his tentative plan. I think the exact date is still getting kicked around. But I think Notre Dame is still going to land the four-star offensive guard. Michigan is the biggest threat, no question. Um, this one's going to be uh, tough to read down the stretch. There's still some moving parts. But um, I give Notre Dame a slight edge. I know my confidence meter pick is at an eight. At one point, it really was, and I felt great about it. I think I'm a little lower on that, so I may have to change it. But I'm still digging around to see where I'm at. Um, but I still like the Irish there. The other one to keep an eye on is Logan Diggs, the three-star running back out of Louisiana. Um, I know he really likes Notre Dame. From what I was told, he was kind of kicking around the idea of committing to Notre Dame, but he really wants to take his visits. So that's kind of an intriguing factor. Notre Dame, as we all know, doesn't really bend on that rule of if you're committed, you're not taking visits elsewhere. That's not really something they deal with. So keep an eye on there. I know USC is the other big player there. Um, I'm not sure how quickly they were to accept an early commitment. There's some guys that they have in that top five board that Diggs is right there as well. I know Notre Dame would absolutely love to take Diggs if, uh, if he could get on board and, and, and not take the visit. So we'll see what happens. But that wraps it up for another one question, two analysts, three minutes for Kevin Sinclair. I'm Tom Loy. As always, stay locked to irishillustrator.com.